I'm quite excited today, the, uh, a new project um, and the first. I've never done any milling before, so this is going to be interesting. Um, what's called a fly cutter here, um, which is going to take the top off of this uh, aluminium bar. What I'm wanting to do is to make a, a replacement heater block for my 3D printer, the Mylan M150. I couldn't find anywhere to, to buy these, uh, so I thought I'd, I'd make one. No doubt somebody will chime in and say you can get them for five bucks somewhere, but uh, this is going to be an experience anyway. Now this is uh, a metric metric piece, and the uh, the size of it is 15 mil. So the piece of uh, aluminium bar that I managed to, to find is, is five eighths. Uh, five eighths of an inch um, is 15.8, 15.9 uh, millimeters. So I need to take uh, need to take 0 0.8 of a millimeter off the top of this. And uh, as much as I love filing, um, I thought that this would be a, a good uh, a good experiment and also another test for my little uh, Unimat with a stepper motor drive, which I'll show you in a in a different video. So we know this is aluminium. Uh, we need to work out the the speed of rotation for the for the fly cutter. Now, back in the day, you'd have had to uh, to read through this guy uh, just the two thousand one hundred and four pages of of wisdom and and goodness, and probably serve a, a hefty apprenticeship. Uh, but um, these days, uh, with the interweb, uh, we can find out most things that we need to know. Uh, this is also, the book is a very interesting read if you can get a hold of a copy these days. So in the book, um, it actually only refers to steel and, and, and brass and other materials. But um, the, the, the formula is you need to know the surface feet per minute to feed um, the, uh, the aluminium. And aluminium, depending on its, uh, on its type, um, can be between, say, 200 surface feet per minute and, and 300. Um, I have no idea what type of aluminium this is, um, but on the on the Unimat 2 uh, I only have a few choices of, uh, of, of RPM. So for example, if we said it was 200 feet per minute, the formula is four times the surface feet per minute divided by the diameter of the of the cutter. Now the diameter of this cutter is 1.5 inches, so if we say four times 200 on 1.5 gives us uh, just over 530 RPM. Um, I can do 560 on here. It's a little bit higher, but uh, that's as, as near as makes no difference. Um, the other thing that we need is some cutting fluid or some, some lubricant. So recommended again is uh, the old standby WD-40. So the other part of the puzzle is I have a, a, a fine adjustment feed set on the on the unimat and each little division on there will lower the cut by uh, 0 0.1 of a millimeter which is 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 four thou so without further ado let's uh, put on our safety gear and uh, see if this is going to work for us Here's the, uh, the, the finished result. Uh, no doubt there's uh, real machinists out there shouting at the screen saying, oh no, it's horrible, uh, but uh, it gets me where I need to be and uh, I'll be able to get on now with uh, machining the other, the other dimension and uh, putting the holes in there. And then I'll post a link to the, the videos I'm going to be doing on the, 
on the 3D printer as well. So, a result.